Welcome back students, this is your Chandu. In this video, I am going to cover the questions related to the course FLAT, Formal Languages and Automata Theory under J2H R18 Regulation for Computer Science Engineering as well as Information Technology. Dear students, as per the notification received from the JNTUH, this time the question paper pattern is all about part A as well as part B. The part A consists of short questions, I mean 2 and 3 mark question which is of 25 mark from all the 5 units and the remaining part B questions from 2 to 11 are from the remaining 5, all the 5 units which consist of 50 marks put together. I am going to give you a few points and the tips how to take this course. Each and every point related to this course is important. You are not supposed to neglect it any part as they may be covering any part from the questions which I am going to highlight here in form of short questions as well as long questions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that immediately and click on the bell icon so that you'll be getting the notifications and share this channel to your friends so that it may help them too. The first and foremost and gun shot question which I can give you is the convert NFA to DFA is said to be a topmost and gun shot question which is of a long question and the two and three mark question may be defined NFA and DF defined DFA may be the theory questions you will be getting in the short questions and all the problems related to the course will be of long questions and convert more to melee as well as the vice versa and the problems related to it and define these two terms may be a short question design FAA for the language construct minimum stage automata equivalent for a given figure is said to be a topmost and one short question I mean 2A and 2B will be in from this or sometime you are going to get only one question for direct 10 mark as the course and the structure is too lengthy difference between difference among these may be also one of the question DFA model equations may be 3 a question and uh, related to equivalence theorem NFA with epsilon and without epsilon may be one of the topmost question you are going to get in 3b this time dear students construct DFA to accept the binary strings related to this concept you are going to get one more question I mean 3a 3b from this part make sure to work out each and every concept without neglecting any part in the course flat Unit 2 is all about the 4A as well as 4B question or sometimes only for Arden's theorem and convert DFA to RE is said to be a topmost question and the vice versa I mean the regular expression design regular expression related to it a problem and equivalence and minimization of automata and the regular languages pumping lemina may be a 2 mark and 3 mark question in the paper this is all about 4A 4B and properties of regular expression and the define the term regular expression may be a 2 mark or 3 mark question pumping lem lemma statement and the applications may be also a 2 mark 3 mark question convert FA to RE or vice versa and the applications and algebraic laws of the regular expression may be a 2 mark 3 mark question and from this part we can expect even 5A 5B or just 5 fifth question dear students next let's add the unit 4 the con context free grammar and its application may be a 2 mark 3 question ambiguity in grammar and language may be a long question this time and lmd and rmd and its derivations may be a topmost question parse tree define the term may be a 2 mark 3 mark question push down automata and uh, related to deterministic and define the term push down automata may be a 2 mark 2 mark 3 mark question from this part we can expect 6a as well as 6b dear students and 7a as well as 7b also from this part i mean pda to cfg is said to be conversion related to the problem is said to be gunshot and the topmost question so from this you are going to do, get the two question dear students if from the unit three, you are going to get 6ab as well as 7ab you are supposed to write incomplete either 6ab or 7ab only some students are making uh, that 6 a and they are writing 7 b this question answer won't be valid it's because of the option in between is r in the question paper you are supposed to write 100 percent 6 a b or 7 a b only as you got three hours of time even for this pattern you are supposed to work out part a as well as part b in a given span of time let's jump into the unit four <coughs> Swasmi normal form as well as Gerbeck normal form problems related to it said to be a topmost question and they may be asking you the difference to work out for the short questions that may be 8a as well as 8b turning machine define the term and the turning machine language may be a 2 mark 3 mark question applications of context free language may be also a short question and the closure properties of CFL may be also short question dear students you are not supposed to skip any part of the course you are supposed to work out each and every part to score 50 
15 out of 15 marks i mean 5 marks from the short question and the 10 marks from the long questions in the question paper related to each and every unit so decision properties of cfl or the differences between decision properties and closure properties may be a difference formal versus instantaneous description turning machine and the problems related to it as well as eliminating useless symbols and eliminating epsilon production a problem related to maybe or topmost and one shot question which is of combination 9 ab or just 9 this is all about unit 4 you are supposed to work out each and every concept very neatly by highlighting each and every point by mentioning the question number failing which you are not going to clear this course the unit 4 the 10a and 10b question is decidability and undecidability problem is set to be a topmost question recursive language properties is a two marks three mark question and np complete and np hard problems differences may be a two mark three mark and tm halting problem is set to be a gunshot question post correspondence problems is set to be a highlighted question related to it you are going to get either 10 completely 10th question or 10 ab and the short questions may be also covered from this overview of recursively innumerable language may be a two mark three mark question and design a turning machine to accept the language is the 11th question i mean 11 ab or 11 related to transition table diagram you are supposed to work out all the tables and all the diagrams only in pencil and the remaining part you are supposed to work out in blowing and highlight the questions as well as the important points in pencil in the booklet do not forget to carry your stationery and work out all the problems you have less time please do concentrate for this semester the question paper pattern is a bit difficult so you are supposed to furnish all the details in a given span of three hours hope you are going to like my videos as well as share this content with your friends if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and comment if you are looking for any other course good luck dear students and thank you